Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. And man, it's been some time since I've actually told a story video. I mean, I think it's been like 15 years, maybe 20. I'm not really sure, but today, I feel like it's the day that I tell my first story video ever. I, I've never made a story video before. But seriously guys, a lot of people have been wanting more stories, so today I'm going to be telling you guys the story of this girl that I used to go to middle school with. Uh, I'm not going to use her real name, so we're just going to call her... Uh, fucking let's go Hitler, okay? But Hitler was kind of the stereotypical shy girl, you know, reads books a lot. But there was one thing that really stood out about fucking Hitler, okay? If you were to accidentally touch her, and by touch her, I'm talking about like, you are sitting next by her on a desk, and you reach to grab your pencil, and you accidentally touch her arm just a little bit. I'm not talking about fucking like, in the dark, you grab her and fucking tackle her. I'm literally just talking about accidentally smudging her just a little bit she will turn at you and if you have headphones i would kind of turn it down because i'm going to give you exactly what she did you're sitting there at your desk you reach to grab your pencil because you want to fill in your you know, your fucking answer okay two plus two you're gonna fill in who fucking cares okay you reach to grab your pencil and you accidentally smudge her she turns at you and she yells again this is gonna get loud don't fucking touch me like just straight up like that now i don't know the backstory on this chick i just know her from school maybe she really did go through like some really fucking up shit when she was younger and i'm not sitting here saying that like oh my god get over it bitch i'm not saying that whatsoever okay i'm just trying to let you guys know that if you did touch this chick she would fucking yell like that okay she would freak the fuck out right and honestly i'm not a very touchy person either i'm not one of those people that see someone and like hey what's up buddy and just go over and start fucking groping them like i don't do that whatsoever but regardless guys that's some backstory on a uh, fucking hitler and uh, without further ado, we're gonna get right into this story. So sit back, get comfy, get a bucket of popcorn, grab a soda, and welcome to the Don't Touch Me experience. And also, don't touch me. The story starts off on a cold day in second semester, and it's my first day in pre-algebra, okay? I was nervous. Not really, I didn't really give a shit. But first day in pre-algebra, I sit down, and I'm ready to learn some math, dude. Who wouldn't be excited for this, right? That was sarcasm. But honestly, I don't really remember what happened through the day. The teacher goes up, gives you the disclosure, blah, 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 blah. All I know is that was the day that I met. Hitler. Okay, fucking Hitler, right? But how I met her was I was sitting across the room listening to the teacher talk, getting ready to get fucked by this math in the next few months, when I just hear out of nowhere, don't touch me. Don't touch me, okay? Now, it wasn't like a yell. It wasn't like freaking out, right? This isn't like fucking Darth Vader or anything yelling no, right? It was just a very firm but aggressive, don't touch me, right? Like, just, she was pointing her finger and everything. I, like, scanned the room because I'm like, what the fuck is going on, dude? What the fuck? I scanned the room and I see her on the left side of the room. I was on the right side of the room, right? And she's just stood up very stiff, pointing her finger at this guy that apparently went to grab his pencil but accidentally touched her and she's just stood up mad as fuck you know pointing at this guy saying like don't you fucking touch me dude and i mean that was pretty much it after that the teacher's like calm down everybody calm down and she sits back down and then they move seats and that was pretty much it there was no more issues for like a week or two until there was a group project right and fucking hitler here gets assigned into my group okay so for the first like i want to say three days of this project no one you know there's no issues at all right until this one day we're all sitting around like in a circle and one of the girls gets up to to go sharpen her pencil but she sharpens her pencil and that's when hitler here gets up as well to go sharpen her pencil as well but as soon as she gets up the other girl is already back and they bump into each other okay now hitler was kind of a lightweight so she kind of falls over like on her ass and the other girl is like oh i'm so sorry and she like tries to help her up like she sticks out her hand and the fucking hitler here slaps her hand with it like this is lion king or some shit and she says do not touch me and at this point in time a lot of people are kind of looking over because this was not no like do not touch me this was like do not touch me right and at this point in time i was thinking to myself why would you say that after you just touched the other person but whatever i'm not even gonna ask okay anyways that happened and the whole thing pretty much got dropped after a few minutes or so but after the group project was finished those two just kind of dropped it and i'm not gonna sit here and name every single incident that that happened but it basically became a fucking meme in the pre-algebra class okay every week
week, maybe even three days sometimes, there would just be a random in the classroom, DO NOT TOUCH ME! And it was always the same girl, right? And this just goes on for the entire pre-algebra year, right? But fast forward about a year, this is ninth through 8th grade, and I get history with Hitler once again, okay? Now, I sit down, I don't really think much of it, and for the most part, for the first few weeks, nothing even happens until one day. One pitch black, dark day for Hitler. Hitler goes to class, little Calvin goes to class, little Calvin sits down, and the history teacher comes up. The tyrant, the fucking villain, stands up and starts teaching his lesson. Calvin's just sitting there paying attention when he hears from the history teacher. Hey, uh, Hitler, it appears that you're on your cell phone. You're gonna have to give me your cell phone right now. And that is when Hitler says, no, I'm not giving you my cell phone. That's when the bad guy, the history teacher, smirks and he says, and he says, you're gonna give me that cell phone or you're gonna go to the fucking principal's office. Shit is getting intense. Hitler stands up and says, I'm not giving you my cell phone and I'm not going to the principal's office because I've done nothing wrong. Now at this point in time, Hitler is starting to cry a little bit, right? She's not fucking bawling, but she has tears in her eyes, okay? The teacher walks over and tries to do some fucking sneak attack and tries to grab her cell phone but instead hits her on the arm okay now it wasn't like a hit it wasn't like a fucking jab right mayweather didn't just enter the building and just fucking knocked her out but motherfucker the teacher really did try to grab her cell phone and accidentally tapped her on the arm now at this point in time everybody watching this battle layout knows that you do not touch hitler you do not fucking touch hitler right and that is when she points at the history teacher like she actually is the real hitler and says do not touch me again and that's when the history teacher says you need to go to the principal's office right now. The girl is starting to cry at this point. Hitler is crying at this point. She says, I've done nothing wrong. And that's when it seems like it's been resolved, but it's not. That's when the history teacher puts his hand on her shoulder to walk her to the door. A gentle crest, right? But as soon as that hand touches the back of her fucking shoulder she whips her fucking elbow knocks his arm off like she's neil from the fucking matrix and then pushes the teacher fucking pushes the teacher the teacher falls back and she says don't fucking touch me and then she runs out of the room crying the history teacher follows her and i mean uh, that's pretty much it that's all i really know i mean i was just in the classroom and i mean i think she got in trouble i mean she wasn't i think she actually did get switched out of the history room but Fuck, man, that, that's all I got, guys, sorry. I mean, there was some, like, middle school rumors that she went home to kill herself, but, nah, she, she didn't kill herself. She was, I mean, in 10th grade, I saw her, so, yeah, that's, that's bullshit. She didn't kill herself, but, I mean, there was some rumors that she, like, opened up a concentration camp and, like, became some sort of dictator, but, I mean, that's bullshit, right? Because she was in my 10th grade class. How could she have done that, right? Any <laughs> Anyways, though, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. And hey, if you did, it's your lucky day because for every person that likes the video for a limited time offer, they will be receiving a million dollars. No scam at all. Straight up a million dollars. Not a small loan. A million dollars. Straight up. You don't have to pay it back at all. Um, anyways, though, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support. You guys are the best. I know we just hit 500,000, so that's just crazy. I will be making a special pretty soon, so thank you guys so much. And, yeah, thanks for watching, and peace, peace. Also, don't you ever even think about touching me, okay? Don't even let that go through your head, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.